Hi, babe, it's Vidic here, and a welcome back to Exora. In today's video, we are going to be starting our hardcore Iron Man. I've wanted to make an Iron Man here on Exora for a while. The server is just so unique, so much custom PVMing and bossing, it just seems like the perfect place for not being able to trade other people. But before we get into that and make the account, I'm giving away a tormented rapier, super nice weapon. All you gotta do to answer is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave your Exora in-game name down below. And do not forget to enter yesterday's giveaway as well because we got a couple other tormented weapons we are giving away. All right, so here we are. Hard Vidic, of course, as you guys know. And then we gotta choose our game mode here. As you go lower on the game modes, it gets harder. Uh, lower XP rates, but other bonuses like increased drop rates and such. Now, 10 times combat XP and 5 times scaling, there's no fucking way. I think I'm gonna go with Lord to be honest. I was thinking about Baron, but the scaling XP is 25 times, and that's just gonna that's just gonna take way too long. And I mean a little bit extra drop rate, but there's a lot of drop rate boosting stuff, so we don't really need that. So we're going Lord. There we go. And of course, hardcore Iron Man, we can never die. If we die, we lose our hardcore Iron Man status. Okay. Oh, oh, there you go. Referral system, I forgot they had this. When you sign up for your account, make sure you uh, click YouTube and then type in Vidic. Oh, got some extra monies. All right, first things first, head over to our 24 hour chest. And by the way, I'm gonna be following my own guide here. Wait, is this, can I get this? It was highlighted, it looked like I was gonna have it. But I'm gonna be following my own little starter guide here. Uh, you guys should definitely check that out if you are new to the server. Uh, I go over everything that you need to know right off the bat. Um, link will be in the description. And one of the first things we gotta do is vote. There we go, some vote books. Do these give us increased, oh. Uh, drop rate, 0.5, two times XP. Wait, how long though? Uh oh, okay, well we better go out and start training a little bit. We have this bonus and we won't use the, we won't use it again for now. Before we go out there, let's see if we could use any of these shops. Sometimes uh, you can use some of the shops as an Iron Man. Depends on the server. Oh, geez. Oh, wait, can we buy stuff from here? Uh, that's interesting. Cause I think other players can sell stuff to that shop. Misk shop. We'll buy one of those. Oh, we can also buy runes. Okay, that's nice. Ooh, and before we go train, let's actually go get a slayer task. I think we can get rock crabs as a slayer task. That would be perfect. That's, isn't that her name? Turiel or some shit? Cows? Oh, we got six minutes to complete the task for bonus rewards. Now, doing some of these daily challenges would be a really good way to get some early rewards and possibly some upgrades. And this one is just complete slayer tasks, but how many? It doesn't really say, just a complete slayer tasks. I guess we'll find out once we complete one and it shows us our progress. Here we go, task done, thank you very much. And is the bonus the XP lamp or something? Oh, the cash is, is the bonus. Oh, we got a lot, we got four mil. Okay, so we completed one task. How much is that gonna put us on here? 16%, wait, what? So, so it might be six tasks then, I'm thinking? We'll just keep getting tasks from her. She keeps giving me, oh yeah, easy tasks. I'll keep doing them. All right, 43 pair, that'll be useful a little bit later. We'll probably end up going and doing some green dragons. I won't, I'm not really too worried about getting PK'd. There shouldn't really be anybody my level there. Oh, and there we go. Six mil cash. Dude, doing these speedy, speedy runs is good. You can get a lot of money from these bonuses. Now, what I'm really aiming for for my first big, big boy upgrade is from the achievement shop, and that is the Exo Sword. Would be so, so nice to get. Uh, if we'll start kind of focusing on achievements, because there's a lot of pretty easy ones we should be able to get. Stuff, yeah, a little like just catching tunas and shit, cutting down trees. We can really start building up our achievement points. And with our Slayer points, I'm definitely gonna save up to unlock Dark Matter Demons, I think are the ones that are really good. These guys dropped like the Dark Matter Bow, which is just an insane, insane weapon. And maybe we'll do the Slayer Helmet first. But what's our next task? Deep Rock Spider. Oh, these are also an achievement, killing Dark, Deep Warp, Deep Wop, Blub, whatever the fuck you call these. Deep Rock War Beasts. Let's see how hard they are. Or actually, I want to see how many... Oh, they're 2,000 HP. I'm, I'm out of here. Can we hit them? Can we even hit them? No. Let's find the spiders. That's fine. How many of these do we have, though? These are definitely getting harder. Hopefully... 60? What the fuck, dude? 60 of them. Oh, man. Well, do they have any good drops we could possibly get? Enchanted Keys. Royal Blue Right Sword. Okay. Deep Rock Key. We might be able to get some upgrades from these guys. Oh, piece of armor, there we go. That's definitely an upgrade. Wait, is it? <laughs> it's not even an upgrade, what the fuck? I'll take it anyways, I guess. What the fuck is a clean war galley? Is that a real herb? 
Oh, we got a deep rock key over there. What do I use that in here? Wonder what I can get from that. Wait. Wait. Uh oh. Oh, is it? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> this doesn't seem right. But who, how, how would I know? Oh, uh, I see. You get a deep rock chest from these guys, and you use the key on them. And let's try killing one. Alright, that wasn't too bad. And how many of these we'd have to kill? 50 of them. kind of wish I got those as a task, but we gotta, we gotta stay with the spiders. Okay, so I'm actually gonna finish up this task a little bit later. Uh, while I still have increased XP, I would like to start doing some of these skilling skilling tasks. Alright, so what are some easy achievements I can start getting? Looks like thieving would be a good start. Alright, steal 25 times from the baker stall. Seems easy enough. Yeah, there we go, baby. Easy peasy. Uh, early crafting levels can be annoying. Advanced thief, 100 times from the first stall. If we can do that, I'll do that right now. That'll take no time at all. Alright. Oh, hell yeah, we can sell them. There we go, already 3,500 exo points. I think this is like the best way to start on the server. It just makes the most sense because that exo sword is so strong. Uh, at least if you're an Iron Man, this is the best way. Just rushing achievements, doing all that you can. Now, are there any thieving hard ones we should bother with? No, no. A thousand? Okay, that's a little bit too much. Oh, secure my account. Set a pin. Easy money, baby. Uh, achievement shop. Now, we're getting achievement points too. Uh, what can we get from the achievement shop? A hundred thousand? Ring of Wealth would be pretty nice. We might want to save. We'll probably end up saving for the Ring of Wealth. Or the Octo. Okay, Copper Miner, a hundred ores. Oh, jeez. Ten leather bodies. Easy money. Okay, we're gonna do ten leather bodies, but wait a minute. How? Wait a minute. How do I get a needle and thread? Oh, my lord. Somebody, somebody get me a needle and thread. Oh. The fuck, dude? Alright, apparently King Fenrir has seen a needle over here Iron Man guide oh perfect didn't know there was an Iron Man Iron Man shop I appreciate that King Fenrir all right awesome this this helps a lot because now we can actually get tools for doing stuff needle gonna need 500 thread oh rune pickaxe we can actually get rune rune pickaxe stuff from here iron iron 10 cow hides 10 leathers and oh no Wait, what? It requires three? It's supposed to require one. Aw, oh, damn it. Ooh, a challenge scroll. A cow challenge scroll? Oh, is it a clue scroll? Okay, oh, well, we'll do that next. Okay. Gotta get the rest of our hides. 21 hides. 22 leather, one extra. Gimme my Exora points, baby. This one looks like, I'm pretty sure this is Falador. Oh, there we go. That's the uh, Hobby Gobby Peninsula. Easy money. Yannel. Another one. Yeah, another one. Oh. Haha, <laughs> two in a row. God, how many, how many, oh my god damn it, this is like the worst one. Another clue, okay. Am I getting trolled here? And it's the same one. Another, this is like nine steps. Oh my god. Oh my lord. How long is this gonna take? Last one, come on, yes. Oh. God damn, wait, did that give us a thousand exo points? I think that did. Okay, so we're definitely gonna do these every time we get them. A little bit of money, and we got a casket. Now, what can we expect from this? Colonist skirt from a rare clue school reward that's rare? I can't, no, I can't equip the fuck. Alright, we're gonna roll with the achievements. We gotta keep these going. Agility runner, 10 laps, easy money. Oh, oh, ah. There we go, yeah. All right, woodcutter, wood burner, 50 logs, and then we gotta burn the 50 logs, easily peasily. Do these trees give you multiple logs? Oh my God, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, tell me that this works, wait. Oh yeah, so my, okay, wait, is it counting though? It's counting. And that's the wood cutting done. Wait a minute, don't actually need that. There it is. Not bad. What are we at? 7,000 exo points. That's quite a bit for our first day here. Uh, we only need 20. We need 25k total. Uh, it looks like the achievements are getting harder and harder. And when, even when you go to the medium achievements, they got pretty crazy. We do need 25,000 though. You know what would actually have been like a 2,000 IQ play? It seems like as you level up, the Slayer task scales. So I don't know if there's a way to lock XP. 
XP lock. So what you could do is just get like 10 attack and 20 strength and then lock your XP and just keep getting tasks from her so you can complete these daily challenges super easy right off the bat. Now I'm curious if I can cancel this task. It would be nice, I'd like a different assignment. Oh, no, it costs task points, not worth it. Ah, oh, another deep rock key. These guys actually drop thick monster hide. These guys actually drop the uh, key and the chests, and it's the same drop rate, so we can get a couple of these deep rock chests. Maybe we can get some decent rewards from that. Uh, I guess we got a we got a spec now too. Not that it's hey, well, hey, there we go. Look at that, decent. Oh, oh, that's a medium task scroll. Look at that. Now this looks like a little different though. Oh, nice. Oh, these are great. Okay, so basically all we gotta do is complete the task, mine 180 coal. We'll get exo points and we'll get a chance at getting some of these rewards. And it looks like there's some pretty good stuff in here. Oh, there's some fucking really good stuff. Egg oh, Exosword. Could you imagine? After all this, we end up getting the Exosword from that. Oh my god, another deep rock key. Just give me one chest. They're the same drop rate, dude. The right? They're the same drop rate. Give me the chest. Alright, come on, last spider. You gotta give me a chest. You gotta give me one. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. What the fuck, dude? Um... All right, we did get our task points and stuff like that, though. One out of six drop for the deep rock keys and the chests, and we only got three out of 60 kills. We should have got 10 total, and we should have gotten, I mean, come on, one chest? What the fuck, dude? We did get some decent little supplies, though. I mean, mithril and coal, opals. That's an achievement to cut 100 opals, so we'll save those up. Some nice herb lore stuff. Now, really quick, I want to check this. Can we actually buy stuff from this shop? Because we can look at it. Ah, unlucky. I, I figured that would be a pretty big oversight if you're able to do that because you could just basically trade items to your Iron Man. But either way, let's see what we got. 50% done on our tasks, so we got to do three more tasks. And hope, I'm hoping Spray gives me an easy one still. Something easier. Adamant Scorpion. Okay, shit. 70, you bitch. Adamant Scorpion level 97. Anything good? Oh, they do drop some nice weapons and stuff. That would be nice because... Our sword is actually running out of charges, and I should start taking off the armor because it also... Wait, it affects your drop rate? Oh, God. It also wears off after six hours, but our sword has only, like, fuck, 454 charges left. Oh, no. What are we going to do after? Once it's done, I don't have any other weapons to go over to, so we might end up just grinding out achievements to get the Exo Sword. How are we, how are we going to kill 70 of these? Well, they're not hitting me a lot. So I'll continue with this task and we are going to end the video here. I'm going to finish up my daily slayer tasks and we'll have the box to open for the next video. Oh, essence I guess is pretty much pretty worth picking up. And I think I'm going to keep rushing a bunch of achievements. I'm definitely going to do that medium task scroll that'll also give us a bunch of exo points. And hopefully by the time our sword runs out, well no, it's going to run out before I finish this task, that's for sure. Hopefully we can get that exo sword before we need to do any more combat stuff. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for today's video here on Exora. I hope you enjoyed it. So far, this seems like a really nice server to do an Iron Man on. And starting off really isn't that hard. I mean, you get the beginner sword, you can start training up your stats right away, and then you can start figuring out how you're going to uh, how you're going to move on from there. So don't forget to enter today's videos giveaway and yesterday's as well. We got three different tormented weapons we are giving away. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be doing a little more videos. And have a nice day.